Bermondsey and Rory, good morning. You're on LBC. Good morning. Hi there. Um, my, my point really is actually what's coming next um, for the next few years. Um, coming down the road is uh, more EU legislation and also the, uh, uh, the point that that's hurting people and getting jobs and uh, allowing for global opportunities to come, uh, well, by the UK's way. How, how much work do you think UKIP can do in the European Parliament? Because Nigel Farage himself has said that, you know, he could have all of the MEPs or the UKIP MEPs, but it still wouldn't allow him to take this country out of the EU. So what do you think he can actually achieve now? Well, he can make the case at home. Uh, the, uh, the amount of people that uh, UKIP have uh, had elected this year is... Uh, and well with other better off out supporters like uh, David Campbell Bannerman and Dan Hannan, uh, that is making the case for the British people to, uh, to leave the EU and uh, grasp the global opportunities that are out there. Would you be, uh, I mean, you don't have to answer this question, but are, are you planning to, to vote UKIP in the general election in 2015? I won't answer that question, I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> I, actually, I, ask, I actually vote on a local basis, so whoever is uh, standing in my uh, locality, um, I'll uh, look at the list when they come and, uh, and judge by that. But, but overall, UKIP's success tonight is something that you would broadly support? Oh, well, yeah, in terms of their uh, trajectory and in regards to leaving the European Union, that's absolutely the key, because it's about uh, grasping what's going on in the world and the world is growing the eu is not and the eu is stopping us making decisions that will benefit britain uh, rory thank you very much for your call